Brady Ho, so I'm going to keep this under 25 minutes. The last one, the previous one I did with lower quality was about 45 minutes, so let's keep this short. I'm Jack Jones, I'm a discipline priest, I'm fairly adept actually, um, probably probably one of the one of the best discipline priests you're going to see, at least on my server, Dark Spear, Sourfang, Telecar, EU, uh, definitely one of the better healers, um, I definitely know what I'm doing when it comes to discipline priest healing, so before, you know, if you, if you don't want to watch this whole video, before you X off, first things you want to be doing, you know, it might be, turn out to be a long video, first things you want to be going to be doing, want to want to know about discipline priest right off the bat is power word shield should be doing at least 30 percent of your healing i'm talking about raid environments here 30 percent of your healing bare minimum i can usually get 60 to 70 percent um healing just from power word shield penance is your next one now i have the four sets uh, so my penance does a whole lot of damage it, it, it it's really powerful really powerful really really powerful the four sets is better than uh, heroic gear of just normal heroic gear the uh, normal four set that is uh, now power shields you want to be keeping on everybody 15 min 15 seconds before they take damage um, and what I mean by that is deadly boss mods uh, it will show up here 15 seconds before so you notice uh, maybe there's a raid damage or damage to specific people uh, let's say there's raid damage say you're on you know uh, Cormrock and he's about to do the hands uh, move uh, grasping hands you want to be making sure you want to check 15 seconds before that comes up right you want to be making sure that everybody or as many people as possible you have bubbled all around you um, I, re I also recommend using a uh, mouse over macros I'll put an example of one of these in the description uh, here, here basically what it does is it means that you can just mouse over somebody or on their ray frames click here boom done so simple um but the but powered shields you want to be putting on you want to an be anticipating the damage before it happens so that the bubbles there it, and it's nice and ready uh, now for anybody who falls below say for me falls below 90k healing uh, you want to be using penance on them you don't want to be wasting penance with people who are on like, you know 50k 50k health uh, because you're wasting half your penance. Penance is on a nine second cooldown, so you want to be using that um, as much as possible, but making sure that, you know, the people actually need it. So, if you're in a, a bit of a lull and there's no damage coming out, um, you can either just use heal preemptively on the tank or just, you know, smite atonement heal on the boss. Um, atonement healing is where you literally just use penance. Uh, how weird solace or holy fire and smite uh, hold, pow, solace or holy fire depending on your talents you should really have power weird solace though um, and atonement healing for 100% of the damage you do will be heal people around you 50% of it's on you right so with that in mind let's quickly go on to the talents angelic bulwark and um, this is the lazy option Desperate Prayer is the better option because it, A, it heals more, depending on how much health you have. It heals more and you can use it whenever you like. You know, it's it's a no shit button. But, it will take room on your action bar and you do actually have to press it. So if you're, you're more lazy like me, uh, just go for Angelic Bulwark. It won't make too much of a difference, but it is automatic. Um, now, Body and Soul, Angelic Feather, these are the two ones. Not Phantasm because uh, maybe depending on the fight. I don't really know any fights where it come useful, but maybe depending on the fight. It's more for PvP. But Body and Soul, but you'll find that a lot of the time you need a, a speed increase on people. Maybe you need to kite the boss around for whatever reason. Now, Angelic Feather, it's probably better for Holy. But because you're a, a Discipline Priest, you'll be using Power Word. Yeah, shield off cooldown so you just be using it anyway uh, this could give an automatic speed increase now angelic feather it's kind of unpredictable i mean in that you don't always know if the person's going to be you know actually running into it you could see somebody running into it you know raids can be a bit erratic so you could see people running into it that's just whatever uh, you see people running into it you think oh I'll, I'll pop it down there right in front of them you pop it down and suddenly they change direction completely and avoid it uh, that's not an ideal situation yeah it's e much easier just to say oh right 
Um, he he's a he needs a, a speed increase. Done. Bang boom. Wow. Done. So really, I'd say body and soul, but it comes more down to preference. Sergio Light. Now Sergio Light looks good, but it doesn't proc nearly as often as you'd want it to. I mean, it might proc in a ten minute fight. It might proc five to ten times. That's once a minute. Uh, at most really at most really in my experience um, and it, I mean because you're not really going to be using that many healing spells it, it just doesn't proc enough and the, the mana you save from it you could be using with Mindbender or Power with Solace to just spam more flash heals anyway it, it's, it's really not an ideal move uh, Mindbender if you may be new to the Priest and you, you don't really want to have to keep an eye on all the spells or whatever or you're just kind of lazy yeah mind bender whatever you just pop that down on cooldown it's on a minute cooldown you'll get a fair bit of mana back now power weird solus is the this is the ultimate one and that's because um not only does it give you more mana than any of these other two but it also pr stacks uh, it procs archangel um now archangel will increase your damage done by 25 percent of five stacks and that's the only time you want to be using it at five stacks um, it increase your healing done by 25% and that is amazing you won't even have to really think about it you can just pop power with solace down every now and again then pop archangel of 5 stacks ah. and it'll, it'll also increase your the critical chance of your next flash heal or prayer of healing you won't want to be using prayer of healing at all it costs so much mana and you know for the healing it does it's really not worth it it really isn't worth it so for your tendrils psychic like scream don't it mate it doesn't really matter for your tendrils is probably the best though because you know say you're on trash you can just and the the mobs are coming to you you can just stick them down you know they won't run off and pull other mobs like with psychic scream and um, they'll just stay there and the tank can get aggro back again and it fades off cooldown because remember you've got fade uh, reduce your threat done it rem removes all your threat for a certain amount of time 10 seconds, 5, 10 seconds uh, Dominate Mind it, it's kind of fun um, you know if there's a lull in healing on trash you can just pop that and have a bit of fun with it, um, it when it gets down to the nitty gritty um, it doesn't really matter Psychic Screen though on trash yeah it's not that good on trash maybe on a boss fight it's all adds yeah fine use it uh, but there's not really that much difference on boss fights with these two. Uh, dominant mind for boss fights, it's uh, depending on the, the fight, it's going to be useless. Uh, now, Spirit Shell is. Uh, uh, I don't really know why you'd want to use this unless you were preempt preempting some big damage or maybe a tank or something. Um, it, it probably has its uses, it, it, it probably has its, its fights, but for the most part, you want to be using Power Infusion or if you're doing heroic maybe or mythics where there's going to be a lot of damage and you'll people are going to be at 35% health or below a lot then maybe you want to be using twist of fate but also keep in mind that powered shield is your main spell and that's not actually healing spell um, and penance is on a 9 second cooldown so you really really won't be making much use of this anyway now power infusion um, can help you save mana and it can also help during parts of a fight where there's a lot of damage going around uh, and you just need to get healed up quicker now some people say power infused isn't actually a, a mana doesn't actually help you with mana because you're casting spells faster well you don't need to cast spells faster if you cast spells and it, and um, think right well I'm just going to cast them 25% slower to make up for the 25% haste so you're just casting spells at normal speed you know you can you know you pop it cast heal a bit faster, wait a second, cast heal again, um, you just save a mana, outright save a mana, or you can ignore that and just cast your spells at normal speed and you will heal more for the same amount of mana that you would normally spend, you will just be healing more, so yeah it can help you save mana, um, especially, I, I tend to use this though when I notice, oh this is a, a healing intensive fight or I notice that I'm below 50% mana I'll just pop that um, it's a bit of chill as I say it's pretty pointless um, or I'll pop power infusion when I notice that there's a, a lot of raid damage going around and we just need to heal it 
as fast as possible. Now, divine start. Wow, you need like perfect conditions. You need to be stacked up. You need to break stack up. The only times this is really viable is when everybody's stacked up, and they're stacked up. You know, they're actually probably stacked up in a line, and they're not just kind of all over the place stacked up as you as you as what usually happens. Um, stacked up all over the place. Um, Halo. Yeah, again, you need perfect conditions for this because in a raid environment, people are going to be, you know, say just say this is a small a small scale of a raid environment, right? And that's 25 yards away from me. Just say that's 25 away, uh, yards away from me, pretend. And this whole area is where the raid is. And this is 25 yards, you know, I'm over here, 25 yards over here. I'm not going to be able to heal the person over here for anything. And anybody within this 25 yards, is, they might get a fair amount of healing. But with Cascade, you can um, bounce, you can say you're over here, you can bounce over there, bounce over here, heal people all the way over here, bounce over here, bounce over here. It'll pretty much heal everybody in your raid who needs healing. Granted, they're not our range of anybody else. Uh, Cascade, it does a, a fair amount of dam uh, healing as well. I can't remember. I think it was sort of 90 to a 200k healing. Can't really remember me i'd have to do um you know a bit more maths to work out which is actually better you know i'd have to take halo for a bit see what healing it does but i'd say halo was um subpar when it comes to to the la second to the last row on healing i'd say cascade was the best now saving grace it looks good and it, it might occasionally save your raid like with that hundred uh, just an instant hundred ten k uh, healing but also remember that it do will reduce uh, healing done by 15% uh, and that's a lot um, again if you're taking it to save a raid just keep in mind that you've got so many other spells that could be used um, power wage shield boom instant 64k damage then instant you can either flash heal them or you can pence them back up to the full health I mean Penitence instance anyway, so you don't even have to power wage heal them. You can just pence them, and boom. It's an even better heal than saving grace. Because heal, it'll heal for more. Or about the same. Um, you've also got power infusion, then a f flash heal. That was less than a second cast. That was a second cast. I mean, that's quite quick. You've also got pain suppression. Which is, you know, that's... 40% damage reduction. So, all of these moves here that I've just mentioned can save the raid. You've even got Power Wave Barrier there, which re re reduces damage done by 25%. So, again, saving grace, it's not really that good. Now, Clarity Will, it has its fights. Um, it can absorb a lot of damage, but it's exclusive to maybe. It can practically make one person invincible. But then remember that the whole raid, the the other healers have got to focus on the rest of the raid, which can you know it can be a bit alas on them, a bit sly on them. But you will probably top the healer meters, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, it's it's definitely not as good as like three power wage shields in a row. You know you could probably get one or two or three power wage shields in the time if you get one clarity of will off anyway. So you know bear that in mind. Um, it has its fights, like if you just need to keep one or two or three people alive exclusively, like on the council fight in Hellfire, where people have debuffs, you can just pop them on them, and they will literally take barely any damage at all. Well, maybe more depending on at the later stages of the debuff, but overall, in general, Power Word Shield is much better. It's much better to be spamming Power Word Shield with Words of Mending. Um, even though words of mending, it's not, it's eh, it's only eh. You've got to remember the clarity of will. It's a two-second cast with a ninety, uh, with a uh, a ninety percent, with a ninety damage reduction. Whereas this instant, well, it's every one point five seconds because of the global cooldown. But it's inst, it's every one point five seconds you'll get sixty-four healing, and since you can get uh, in about ten seconds, you can get. Uh, you can get two or three of these off in the time it takes clarity or will to you know to do to do its thing you know it just heals more overall 
and then you've got words of mending on top of it which heals them even more more so i would highly recommend words of mending unless you know you just need to keep people a certain people up now glyphs um there's only a few glyphs really glyph penance we can soul and purify now i will tell you i will try and explain the best i can why power word shield isn't that good now we can soul is a 12 second debuff right so every 12 seconds you get a 120 percent power word shield yeah i say 120 percent because you're effectively getting a bonus 20 percent healing from power word shield that makes sense so it's 120 percent heal every 12 seconds now with the weakened soul glyph um, it's every, it, remove, it reduces the cooldown by over 20% so you'll be able to use it effectively at around 124% of the healing done um, I think I worked it out as so it's slightly better um, or slightly worse I can't really remember actually thinking about it um, well you could just bubble more basically you can bubble people more essentially um, this this heals people yeah but you can use you can bubble them more if you get me um, I don't know actually power word shield might be alright ha having a sec having thought about it again it might be okay but to be on the safe side of things you might want to take weak and soul I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day as long as people um, as long as you're using bubble on people who have lower health who, uh, who have the who have that da taken damage so you're actually getting that actually 20% healing from power word shield glyph now penance you'll notice the discipline priest mana isn't that much of an issue if mana is an issue check your gear check your rotation I, that might also be why you're here um, you'll want mastery and crit on most of your stuff um, you won't really need spirit that much um yeah the extra 20 percent extra mana cost it's it's not a biggie to a discipline priest to a, a proficient discipline priest uh, it just means that you can now cast it while moving which can be a lifesaver now if you've noticed i've got glyph and levitate uh, the reason is because purify it's it doesn't do all that much healing you know it doesn't do that much healing it might be up to one percent of your total healing done it's still one percent and it might give you that edge in a raid environment i mean i'm doing mythic so i don't really care uh, at the moment at least uh, but glyph and levitate you know it's just all that means is that between boss fights it doesn't take everyone as long it, it's just that that bit quicker to get to the boss again uh, now back to spells as i say your main spells will be power word shield and penance um, you will not use power uh, prayer of healing you may as well reduce, take it off from your action bars it is costs way too much mana to be considered useful I mean I can get 10 to 20 off before I'm out of mana and everybody starts dying because I can't heal them. Uh, yeah 10 to 20 heals off before I've got no mana everybody starts dying um, a little up. and you as I said before you want to be uh, mainly using power word shield and penance now you're going to be anticipating the damage so you want to be bubbling them before anything's happened uh, 15 seconds before damage is about to come or yeah okay you can do it the lazy way and while everybody's taking damage you can start bubbling so you don't have to keep looking over here you can just bubble them as damage is coming and that works okay doesn't work as well but it works okay it, it's not the best um, penance um, you want to be using this whenever somebody's below you know for me it'd be below 90k damage so I can actually make full use of the penance uh, heal and flash heal flash heal if if you can't use power word shield and penance is on cooldown and the boss is about to die and you know you've got no cooldowns really just flash heal sorry the, somebody's about to die just use flash heal um, you'll probably end up using flash heal more than heal because the only times you'll be using heal 
is when everything's off cooldown and nobody is about to die. Um, so you know, you're not, you don't need it fast. You don't need to heal fast, but you've also can't use penance or power weird shield. That's when you want to be using heal. So you'll be using heal very rarely. There'll always be someone to power weird shield, and there'll always be someone to penance most of the time. Uh, flash heal. It's more of an emergency cast when someone's dropping low and you can't use anything else. How we barrier is when everybody's stacked up and you want to take less damage from everything. Just make sure that there's not a holy priest or a, a druid, for example, who will be using their tranquility moves. Um, you you'll want to be using this separately from any tra sort of tranquility. Uh, the reason being, tranquility is going to get everyone up to full anyway, regardless. So using the power whip parry on top of it, it's going to be a complete waste of time. There's no need for power whip parry to be there. Use it slightly after, use it after the tranquility moves, and it'll just make everything a lot easier. Another move is Pyramendant. Use this. Uh, keep it rolling on the raid, but don't worry too much about it. It's it's fun, but it's not. It's not the best, greatest move around. Use Cascade on cooldown. I usually use it in conjunction with Archangel. I usually pop Archangel and then use Cascade. Um, reason being, Cascade will heal pretty much everybody in the raid and it'll heal them for 90, between 90 and 200k. can't remember how much. Uh, but with Cascade, it'll heal them just that bit much more. Uh, you will want to be using Archangel uh, pretty much on cooldown, really. Whenever it gets to five stacks, you'll just press it. Um, you don't really need to worry about it that much. It's it's essentially a bit like a passive, um, but you have to click it. Um, you can use it at like the, the perfect time. Like if, if you're anticipating a lot of damage, you can press it just as the damage comes in. It's also off the global cooldown, so you can press it and then quickly press another spell. Um, yeah, um, so just either use it just in general because it's there or because you're anticipating damage about to be coming in and you're gonna want that extra heal and boost uh, now if there's a lull in fights and there's no damage coming in um, well you've got two options here you can either start with the smite healing the atonement healing did I go through that before I think I did atonement 100% damage done by a few spells um, 100% of damage done, done by a certain few spells, uh, increases your, 100% it's turned into healing, sorry, it's turned into healing, so you can either preemptively use heal on the tanks, just waiting for that damage, or you can do what I do, and just smite heal, it doesn't make the biggest difference, it's probably better to smite heal, because A, it increases your atonement stacks, stacks, and B, um, it does damage to the boss, now, apart from cooldowns, oh yeah, master spell, don't forget master spell, if purifies on cooldown, you can easily just master spell, and um, you know, it's like a, it's like a secondary purify really, an AoE purify, please don't forget to use master spell, it is very, very, very useful, um, and I think underappreciated and underused, I've not, I don't really see it that much in raids, which is a shame, um, yeah, you've got your silence there. Fade if you get aggro. Uh, keep a, a mana potion on you at all times because your mana might drop. Remember your buffs. Um, after this, we'll get on to gear. Uh, Shadow Fiend does a bit of damage. Why not use it? Holy Nova. Holy Nova. Holy Nova is a very underappreciated spell. It doesn't cost that much mana. And it heals for a fair amount. Five targets for 6k. What's that? 20, 22k? Instant heal? Yeah, if there's a lot of, if there's a fair amount of raid damage going on and you need to be on the move and you can't really concentrate or whatever, you can just pop a Holy Nova around the place. It's also good, uh, you know, if ever, as long as everybody's stacked up. It's also good for situations where things need to die, like on the hands on Corn Rock again, you can bubble everybody up, and then when the and then when the um, the hands get there, pop a few Holy Novas around the place. 
And not only are you going to be healing everyone, but you're also going to be um, dealing damage to the hands. So just keep in mind that Holy Nova is a spell, and it is there, and it can be used. Now, I think that's all good. Uh, I think we're going to go power barrier. I think we're going to go over all the spells. Yeah, I believe that we have. We can now go on to stats. Right, if you get the four set, this is probably better than any gear you're going to find anywhere else. Like, I, I'm not going to need to replace my... Um, I won't replace my four set items until I am in heroic. And I'm getting heroic four sets because it's that good. If I could replace all four of these items with um, just general heroic crit mastery gear, I wouldn't because that's how good the four set is. The four set should only re be replaced by another four set. Unless it's an LFR four set, then it's pretty shit. LFR four set's pretty shit, I think. I'm pretty sure. So your main, spell your main moves are crit and mastery, as I said before. Crit and mastery are good. Mastery because it in not only does it increase your just general healing done, but increases your absorption done. This is important because power weird shield, as I say, is our main move. So imagine a half decent power weird shield, yeah. And then imagine how overpowered it would be with so all that mastery, just extra mastery. It'd just be overpowered. Crit strike because because blah, 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 it. We have a, a thing that means that when we crit, we the extra healing instead of healing for twice the amount, we heal for twice. We we uh, we place a bubble for um, a hundred percent of the amount, and we heal for a hundred percent of the amount. So, you know, we don't do two hundred percent healing from a crit. We get a hundred percent heal and a hundred percent bubble. So it's kind of shared like that but with our mastery it turns it into a hundred you know for me it turns into 146 percent crit uh, a 246 percent crit uh, i'd be getting 146 percent bubble which is you know that's out there that's that's quite a fair amount you know what i mean it's it's a lot it's very nice um i've seen people taking haste um a lot of haste i mean i accidentally have a lot a fair amount of haste accidentally haste but these people who have been spec and haste i've managed to out heal in every department um and i it may just be a skill difference but it i'm it may also be uh, the fact that they've got haste and i've got crit and mastery um so you want to be avoiding haste and spirit really as much as possible um spirit because you know as i say you won't really be going that low i have a lot of spirit but that's by accident i mean this was a 710 and it gives intellect and crit that was being replaced by um something that gave haste uh crit and intellect so obviously this is going to be an upgrade um so i'd just say shy away from spirit and if where possible try and get mastery and crit instead um, but if you, but even uh, but if you've got a lot of mastery and crit, and you notice you're going um, you're probably on some. You've probably got some really, really horrible DPS who really don't like you at all. But you may want to start speculating to spirits as well. Um, if you have the mastery and crit, and you notice you're still on low mana, yeah, get some spirit in there. I, I think that's about everything. Right. So within the week, I will be posting another video uh, of, of of Hellfire Normal possibly replacing that with a hellfire heroic run um yeah so in the, just to get just so you've got a better idea of how i heal and how to be a more effective heal um i'll try and be you know talking over what i'm saying you know yeah i'm, I'm doing this now you know just so everybody can get a bit of a better idea of of the what it looks like to be a good healer okay thanks for watching and uh and I'll put a link to that to that video somewhere around here. See you later.